Paris, made by Twins for Twins, where Cha, I, I already fucking hate this. For starters, fuck uh, your parents, dude. Oh my god, that's that's rude and that's evil. <laughs> when they were asking what what, uh, what they wanted your names to be, did she say, "Oh, one of them's gonna be Chris," and then she sneezed? Cha. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, basically, these twins are making clothes for other twins. <laughs> what I what I want you to imagine though is if you lived in a world where the things you want to buy have to be made by that same group of people where that thing is for. Then imagine you could only buy burgers from from cows. Or let's say you want to buy KFC, but you can only buy it from chickens. Okay, yeah, that's one thing. To, to, that's one possibility. But what if like like you had to buy everything? By a person, everything that was made by a person, like manufactured by a person who looks like you. Like if you're fat, you have to, you have to, you have to go through the drive-through and be like, "Hey, yeah, I want a number two, and a, a fat guy has to make." It. <laughs> if you're gay, if you're gay, you go to like, you go to the doctor and you're like, "Well, I need to see a gay doctor." Like, like guess what? This is only you. Like you're OCD, and, and like, and, like you have to like say that to everybody. You you you're at the bus stop and the bus stops and tells you to get on and you're like oh no I have to get on a bus with a bus driver that doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I think that's the idea behind this. This project is catered for people where they need to buy things from people that are like themselves. Is this an existing obsession or are they hoping to create this obsession? <laughs> <laughs> I think the idea behind this Kickstarter it wasn't that they had like a. It wasn't that they had a product that they wanted to sell. They had an obsessive disorder that they wanted to sell. It sounds to me like it's like, uh, we have a problem. We don't have money and we're twins. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't about money. It was the, about... The, here's another thing, okay? These people absolutely, absolutely don't know what they're doing. I could have this project at $100,000. You know how? <laughs> you want to know how? how? The name of their fucking user is Too Cute Paris. Couldn't it be two cute pairs? Two cute pairs? Bam! Immediate. Why not rename Paris as a publicity I think, stunt? I think I think we just need to keep in mind that these people, they, they're not after money. They're not after selling. These people uh, could easily have the greatest marketing campaign in the world if they just rename okay, Paris. That's, that's, that's all beside, beside the point. The point is that these people, they didn't want to sell clothes. They didn't want to make money. They just... they had a dream about a certain obsessive disorder and they wanted to make the obsessive disorder happen. This is weird. Plus, let, I'm going to tell you something. and I'm okay with this being on film and I'm okay with this going down on records, but twins are fucking creepy. Twins are fucking okay. weird, man. Twi twins are twins are like nightmare shit, dude. I just see like, like you know what's funny? It's like they put pictures of babies here and it's all like, ah, innocence, ah, cuteness. You know what I expect? I expect one of those to, <laughs> to be able to like tell you the future. <laughs> Look, and what is like, think about like this. Look at these two babies here. What did this baby do to get all the pigment? <laughs> <laughs> his what? eyes are darker. His skin is darker. His hair is darker. What did this baby do to earn all the pigment? <laughs> What did he do in the womb? What, what were the What crimes things? did he commit in the womb? <laughs> what crimes against humanity were committed in the womb? So this next project, it's uh, it's a, it's a very unique project. April Sellers Dance Collective Animal Corridor, the Animal Corridor's A A S D C's new dance theater work a darkly humorous post-apocalyptic world is devised to smash open gender utopia. I mean, basically. <laughs> I'm already want, really concerned. What I want you to notice is that all these people look exactly like the characters that we make in every game. Oh, you're right. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. There's some truth to that, except for this girl. She's just a little bit too dirty. I make my characters a little more sexually classy than this. Like, my characters are not... Like, my characters would never do this. This, they would do. I am actually unsure of what gender this last one is. But I love it. I love it all the same. The Hold titles. on. Hold on. Let's go ahead and... Let, let me see how long of... How, long, how much of this video I can stand. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, we're done. <laughs> okay, so I need you to look at the titles of the pledges. Pledge $10 or more. 
friend. Ten dollars online shout out and listing in the program as a friend. What do they no, no, mean about don't... a shout out? What is it like? What maybe just whisper my name to a few people? Maybe that that would work better. You know, you read the uh, That's really shitty marketing, man. Just, just read the title. I just imagine a shout out like it would be like, hey, 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 give my business a shout out. You know, like they just go up to people and they're like, Mike knows how to do plumbing. For for twenty five dollars. Your friends with benefits. <laughs> for thirty-five dollars, your summer fling. For fifty dollars, you can date all four of those people. Ah. If you give, them, if you give them fifty bucks. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. They ship to anywhere in the world. If you give them fifty bucks, all four of them will come anywhere in the world. In a box. They will, they will date. They they'll will come date. in a box, dude. Sweet. If you give them a hundred bucks, they'll go study with you. If you give them two hundred bucks. It'll be a seriously committed relationship. It'll be you and four of them, and it'll be seriously. So wait a second. These people, if you give them, eventually you give them ten thousand dollars, I won't cheat on you. <laughs> <laughs> if you give them five hundred bucks, they'll be your fiance. And if you give them a thousand dollars, they will all four. You want to know something? Literally... That's kind of fucking cold. Because if you only give them five hundred dollars, they're just gonna get engaged with you, and they're just gonna leave you like, like hanging. Is that it? <laughs> they're never gonna. They never plan on getting married. <laughs> Well, and then, it's, and it's, then, there's nothing else. Why, 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 what, why can't they move beyond marriage? What about divorce? <laughs> Two thousand for divorce. The, the picture might not imply it, but these are actually very traditional people. But ba basically, what I want to show you is that for a thousand dollars, all four of them will marry you simultaneously. That's fine. That's fine. Let's hold on. <laughs> I don't know what they'll do. I don't know what they'll do for that. Okay, I got another one for you. Do you ever have trouble using classes like a normal? I didn't. Human I didn't know that that was a. I didn't know that was a problem that was commonly had by people. Another thing is like his nose is big enough to where he could use use a smaller glass. If it's if it's a big enough problem, you could just tilt your head back. You know. That's not classy though. Yo, he always needs to be looking forward. This is a man that's really interested in the future. I mean, is that really the problem that it's meant to solve? He yeah. doesn't even have that big a nose. I bet you the guy who created this, though, these these, these have a very, like, hey, hey, buddy, you want to feel like you're in the hospital? <laughs> hey, buddy, hey, buddy, you want to drink enough uh, to where you get put in the hospital and die? <laughs> wine can go in and out of this cup. Okay. <laughs> that's I think my current wine glass does that, too. Thank you. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's really nice because the current wine glass I have, you put wine in it and you can't get it out. It's been rotten for years. This just looks like the liquid that they test on fucking feminine hygiene products. Dude. Oh, you know what I bet you? I bet you this guy uh, did a tutorial and the first thing they, they designed was a goblet. He's really more more of a businessman than he is a 3D modeler. <laughs> That's how this business was born. Okay, I got I got another one for you. I mean, uh, I think you'll like this one. You don't know me. Hey. Do, you, do you ever feel like you hate yourself? Do you ever identify with groups? Like, has there ever been a group of people that hate you, but you want to be part of that clan? That Everybody can hate you. If you think about it, though, like, from far away, liberals are going to hate you, and from up close, conservatives are going to shoot you. Yeah, did you ever feel that your life doesn't have enough hate in it, or it's not... Do you crazy? ever Do you ever feel that you want to get really good at dodging bullets? <laughs> okay, I, I, think, I think I know what, what the purpose of this hat is. Okay. okay, let's say you really want to learn parkour, but you're one of those people that really needs a lot of motivation, right? So you, what you do is you start learning parkour, and then you go out in public with this hat on, and you're going to really need, you're, you're going to need to give 100% when you're using your parkour, because you're going to need it to get away. This, this, hat, this hat is for people that, they just feel like not enough people hate them. See, the, a lot of people, they feel like the problem is that they take a position on the left or right, of the political spectrum. And then, oh my god, I totally see what you mean. They're totally, they're alienating people, they're alienating, alienating potential haters. It's like, let's say I, I'm a leftist, and like, you know, I, I have left-leaning views, but like, let's say I have a problem with having allies, I just want to be alone. So, with this hat, you can piss off both liberals and conservatives at the same time. This looks like, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is making me want a Coca-Cola. That's all it's doing for me, really. What do you think? What do you think Trump's reaction would be if you gave him this hat? 